Dutch bushcraft knives. A YouTube channel founded by two of the world's ugliest bushcrafters. Their channel was inspired by people like Virtual Vice. Hello, knife people. David Attenborough. Yes. Dutch bushcraft knives. He certainly knows what's going on. But maybe most of all, Remiers. A good way to show you how to use the knife is to make something that we have to do on a regular basis. To make the points, I'm using the forehand grip, which gives a lot of power. If I have to pass the knife to anybody else, which is rare because we don't very often lend a knife, it's the quickest way to lose a friend, is to lend them a knife and have the knife come back looking like the edge of a saw. I can put my whole body behind the cut. Good God, what a knife. That same knife would prove to be almost unobtainable for the next couple of years. Until that fateful day. When Martin's father-in-law bought it and lent it out to Martin to check it out. I'm Ray Mears. Welcome to Extreme Survival. And gentlemen, please join our Royal Knife Club to join our giveaway. We're giving away four knives, two folders, and freaks, and uh, the oh, bloody cool felt knife is oh yes. If join, join, join. Oh man, it's the Ramirez knife. Whoa. It is probably the knife that started this all for us. Yeah. And the previous maker died, Mickey, but we have always wanted that Ramirez Bush Law knife. Yeah. Because we thought that this would be the ultimate bushcraft knife. This was probably the, probably the best knife that existed yeah. on planet Earth. So we're gonna put it through a couple of tests to see if Ramirez is scamming y'all people. Ooh. Yeah, because we don't want anybody yeah. of this whole knife community uh. to be scammed by nobody. And Ramirez, yes. we're not backing off of your money makings, my friend. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. We we just want to see if this guy is ripping you off yeah. as hard as we are with our web shop. Mickey, Ramirez was actually one of our heroes that actually started probably this channel. Yeah, and I, I mean, we looked up to that man. The first test is going to be a test inspired by him. The legend himself. himself. The legend himself. The Do you want to say it? Three, two, one. Feather sticking. Holland. A bleak but stunningly beautiful place. Whenever I travel in wilderness, I always have my knife to hand because with this tool, I can make life possible. There is a man ray who lives such a marvelous day. I will now show you how to feather a stick of wood. He sleeps in a sack in a neat blue wack in a place where nobody goes. The device I use to ignite the fire is called a fire steel. Somehow Martin lost Ramirez's voice forever to make the edit for Mickey be a lot easier. 
One of the most enjoyable things about bushcraft is cooking. And because it's bushcraft, you can take little more equipment than usual into the forest. All right, let's see how good... All right, let's make a real outdoor meal and see how good this knife is for food prepping. I want to introduce you to one of my favorite outdoor meals. A nice burger filled with spring itself. Look at that knife. It cuts away in that tomato straight out of the box. Onions, no problem as well. Chop, 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 away it goes. This is the Vagus Sylvatica, known by less intellectual people as the beach. The freshly sprouted green leaves are a delicacy on every wild salad. Mm. So fresh! So green! So delicious! Alright, let's try it out. Mm. This is really actually really good, except for the for the beech leaves. <laughs> the only thing that is actually bushcraft. <laughs> Listen ladies and gentlemen, we all know that this is just basically a scandy knife, you know. And the scandy grind is gonna carve well, so here you can see me carving that lovely, lovely tent pack. Whoa, whoa, look at him go, look at Mickey go. See, I told you I was a bushcrafter. And don't call me out sick text. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's just regular O12 steel. I know, right? So how long is this knife going to keep its edge? Let's test out that edge retention and there's only one test that can test it out. Huh? Rope testing! This is probably the part of the video where everybody's gonna turn it off. Damn fool. We finally had the chance to experience the knife of the legend, Ray Mears himself. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please rip you off first? Please check out our Royal Knife Club. We are doing a giveaway. We're giving away two Benchmade Freaks and Ooh. two Felknieven SK2s. There are two winners and we have Felknieven Roads to give it away. Yeah. So thank you very much. And a fire steel. And a Mora, Mickey. Oh, don't forget. Damn, sorry, I'm and sorry. Thank you, all new patrons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Thank you so much. Oh no, they're yeah. just pouring in. Thank you very much, guys. Martin, this knife. Shall we do some pros and cons? Yeah, let's do it. Let's Start do off it. with the pros, yeah? It is very nicely made. It has, has a tapered tang, very crafty. It comes very sharp, almost with a yeah. mirror polish. Probably one of the sharpest knives that we yeah. got out of the box. O1 steel, very easy to sharpen, Mickey. The spine yeah. was okay. The handle was comfortable. No. Let's oh go to God. the cons. 
the cons. Ladies and gentlemen, we are convinced that this is absolutely not the knife that you want to buy. No. Yeah? We're going to start off with these small cons. The spine is not very sharp. It's no. sharp enough it's to okay. strike the spine, it's okay. but it's not, it's not like the best of the best. Yeah. The handle is a little small because look, listen, for us it's okay, yeah, but us, we are glove size very small. Fine. So if you have big hands, might not be the knife for you. No, the, the grind starts off very like late, late, yeah, it doesn't late have in the knife. It's like this is the probably the part where you have most control over the yeah. knife. And so it doesn't have a sharpening coil. Yeah, which no. makes it hard to sharpen that, that, that very first start of the edge. Yeah, but then, but then, ladies and gentlemen, something that boggles our minds. We can't understand that Ramis does this. It is selling an 01 yeah, steel prob knife for. Probably one of the cheapest steels you can get. Yeah. For 450 pounds. That will in dollars, that is well over 500 dollars <laughs> so mickey if i could place this knife in a price category yeah, yeah. it's handmade okay okay the finish so is, is fine at the same time what we yeah. think okay three two one two one hundred. million two hundred <laughs> i can say this is a collector's item mickey you pay for the collector's worth it's a good knife yeah but the price disappointing check out the instagram post notification so funny. on post notification on and see you perhaps in the next episode if you hit the post notification button. Yeah, yeah, yeah.